So, day two. I haven't gone on here and said anything yet. Uh, day two of muzzleloader season, the muzzleloader elk season here in Washington. And, holy smokes, can't find a darn thing. Kind of disappointed. I was really hoping that there was still going to be some kind of activity going on of a rut at least a little movement um, but it appears to be over I don't see any elk I don't hear any elk um, I've seen some sign the road I walked in this morning walked in yesterday also and uh, walked in this morning and a lot of fresh sign they've been in there in the last couple days but I can't hear them or anything I don't know where all these stinking elk are at um, so yeah kind of a bummer still got five more days um, but yeah they are quiet um, I don't you know no talking no I can't even hear them walking around in places um, so we'll keep searching I know they're there but uh, having a hard time finding them so in the meantime who's hungry me so we got lots of choices here from deep refuel awesome meals gonna have to get the jet boil going love these things so compact and so quick and easy to use and water boils quick um, but yeah lots of choices here today but I think I'm gonna go with a little breakfast I brought some tortillas I think I'll make some breakfast skillet Wrap up tortilla make a little breakfast burrito have a couple of those and uh, yeah we'll go from there you know, we'll get to nice uh, full belly and then go find some elk for a few go grab my, my uh, tortillas Tortillas. Put some of these bad boys. <coughs> Might take three actually. We'll see. Ah, uh, yes. Check this out. <coughs> Big shed that I found yesterday. Bam! Big buck. Oh yeah. Couldn't find the match. It's a bummer. Well, breakfast.
breakfast skillet burritos from Peak Refuel Meals was mighty tasty. Recommend it. Uh, let's uh, let's go find some elk, shall we? I'm tired of not seeing any. I still don't see any out here. But um, we're gonna travel. Oh, let's see. That way. Go to uh, another walk-in gate. Uh, we've seen a couple bulls in there during archery season, which we didn't fill any tags. I was only able to hunt with them one weekend. I didn't get to them with the second weekend, but they they did see plenty of elk. A couple shots fired, and unfortunately a miss. Um, but saw saw plenty of elk, plenty of elk, some nice bulls. <clears throat> Got one on one decent one on video actually the first weekend. Um, yeah, no tags filled during the archery season. Um, I'm just here on my own for muzzleloader. Andy is also muzzle loading, but he did a, um, a backpack trip into another area. He's trying that out. Him and another guy trying that out for the first time. This is my first time muzzle loading as well. Usually always, or always have archery headed. disappointed with the no activity but maybe we can go go to this other spot maybe they'll maybe they'll be active over there I don't know <clears throat> I know they were active last week in some other areas but yeah, our, all areas are different so um, but I knew they were active then or in the other areas I was kind of hopeful like I say for at least just a little bit of movement, maybe a little talking, but um, they appear to be done, so I guess I'm going to have to go into their house and wake them up, let's go give a shot. I got some, <clears throat> didn't walk in very far, I looked up on the hill above me and heard some bugling. side road but and I don't know if that's the person that was in there bugling or what was going on in there but somebody parked there so next
we saw a bull in here last night, right before dark, um, from way over there. We couldn't get to him before it was dark, so we came back in here this morning. Um, didn't see him. Saw another hunter in here that said he saw four cows. Uh, we didn't see them, but it's been just dumping wet, wet, wet day. Went and hit the road across the road. Um, didn't see anything. Um, it's not raining now. It's about a little after three. So we're gonna go back in here and hope that he comes back out tonight. So, see if we can make something happen in late muzzleloader Washington elk season. off the muzzle under. So we're trying to get to a root wad and he spotted us and next thing we knew he was gone. Didn't even see him go. So we're not sure which direction he went. We're going to go check this other spot over here. Hopefully maybe he'll push through there and also maybe the elk are out back here. So Dang it, that was a nice buck. 